Thank you very much for the opportunity you have been here tonight. And in summary, I would like to show you the reason why I should be the one to go to Ottawa to represent Canada. To represent Parkdale High Park. Because we need to have Parkdale High Park in a voice in government. And it looks as if the Conservatives are going to be the minority government in the next parliament. If you would like to have them, if you would like to have a representative from Park and Hyde Park at the government table to have a word, to have a part in the strong leadership that Mr. Harper has already shown, that he will continue to show. That he is a responsible person. He lead responsible spending, not spending just for the sake of spending to get votes, but spending wisely. It's your tax dollar. It's your tax dollar. If you care about your tax dollars, you're going to vote for somebody who is going to be looking after your tax dollars. And what we have done with the economy, what we have done with the economy is to reduce taxes for personal tax, for business taxes, and that's putting money back into your into your pocket. When it comes to children, when it comes to children, the tax credits, the child tax credits for sports, for child care, for having in, in 2008, uh, left-right labels are, are passé. I think uh, we're, uh, yeah. we're trying to find solutions to problems that affect us all, no matter what point of view we have. I think the Green Party is the one party that takes different points of view, puts them together, and, and brings to bear all of our hearts, all of our thoughts, on what we need to do for our grandchildren. Okay? If, if you're trying to hold on to... Uh, the way things were, you know, that's fine, I understand, and, and it's, it's comforting. But we have to be moving forward for the mid-century. And I think the Green Party has the solutions, your, your issues, your concerns, your priorities, they're all interconnected. And everything we've heard tonight has, in, in my mind, I'm thinking about it through an environmental lens. Whether it's, it's uh, jobs, whether it's uh, in the environment, you know, all of these things uh, come together and really there's a nice green boat put on those. And so if you want the complete solution, I think there are some solutions, part solution that you've heard tonight, the complete solution is with the Green Party. And I urge you to vote for us. Ladies and gentlemen, this October 14th is your opportunity to vote against prohibition marijuana in this country. In the words of Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, don't criticize it, let's legalize it. Thank you. Thank you much. Well, first of all, thank you to all of you for coming out tonight and making this a very important, successful community event. Uh, you don't have to wonder what I'm going to do in Ottawa. You've seen what I can do in Ottawa, how I've worked with the community, and how I have delivered. I've stood toe-to-toe -to, -toe to Stephen Harper, and I have won. And what I intend to do is to work with the Progressive Caucus to deliver on a $10 minimum wage, affordable housing, child benefit, uh, many benefits for you and your family, defend jobs, improve EI, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. You don't have to wonder what I can do. You know what I can do. You know I work across party lines, across levels of government. You know that I work with the community, for the community, and as your voice in Ottawa, together we will continue to make progress. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And, I, and I am affirmed in that, in the way that people have participated. Uh, this is an engaged community. And with maybe one exception, the woman who asked me a question, there could be a couple more. There might be some agreement that we might have some strong choices here. The question is what to do for the country. What to do to move things forward in a real way. I, I want to give Ms. Nash, Peggy, credit for having fought against the takeover of the company that, that the Conservatives took off the list. But there were 12.5% of the value of all the companies in Canada sold in the last three years. 
You know, we've got a government that it might, now it's not just like Mike Harris, but is more dangerous in that regard. That is continentalist, that really believes in an affinity between the U.S. and Canada that none of us, I think, have truly reckoned for. From my mind, we need to come together as a progressive community to fight this government the best way possible. Not just being against them, not just standing up in the House, but actually pulling together from across this country the people who will make an optimistic offering, another alternative that people can really believe in. And we've done that in terms of the new alternatives in the Liberal Party. We put forward a lot of the ideas, quite frankly, that Robert and his party have stood for, but in a way that can get done. They need to get done now. The next generation is already going to be paying a price because it hasn't got done up till now. Now, I also have a track record in this community. It's 20 years of delivering food hampers, of talking to people on the street, of meeting everybody, and working with them and getting things done. Uh, I look at that not as any way a reason why you should simply vote for me or that I'm entitled to be here. Looking forward is what I'm asking all of you to do. How are we going to not just stop Stephen Harper? How are we going to move this country forward so we don't lose as we lost in Ontario Thank you, four years or eight years that we need to make this country a better place? Thank you very much. Thanks for the Thank you, Parkdale residents. Thank you, moderators. Thank you, everyone up here. Uh, CHP.ca is the website to check out, please, for further information. Uh, some issues were raised on minimum wage. Yes, we support $10 minimum. On the economic crisis in the States, yes, we oppose the middle class bailout of incompetent elites. On Afghanistan, combat troops out. Canada reverts to a peacekeeping role. On immigration, family reunification, yes. Deportation just saved. For example, uh, last Friday we had our first convicted Islamic terrorist. Our, our uh, party is pro-life, pro-fam, pro-family, unabashedly. You know our moral stance there. We are anti-porn. With uh, myself and this party, you have a chance to vote with your conscience. Arts funding, I myself am an actor playwright. I've performed with the Village Playhouse at Blur West, Blur and Runnymede there. I oppose those cuts. I participated in the Toronto Fringe downtown four or five times. Our party has a great moral stance. We also have a full economic platform. Again, chp.ca. Some of those ideas are a fair tax to replace the complicated income tax. And we have an infrastructure stimulus package to put everyone to work and to renew this country. Thank you. Thank you. And so